what's up people, Dobbs Wolves is right here and welcome to another Pokemon pack coming. Last episode people, holy moly, we got some amazing pals. But today we are opening up the seed tins. Yes, you guys know it, it's happening again. We get the mini tins again. Now, as you guys know, they are paying to open up, but they are getting a lot easier and easier as they've been getting manufactured. So, I can easily pop these open right away as I'm talking to you guys. Oh, that's cool. You get lots of stuff in here, actually. You don't get a coin, though. That's a bit of a bummer. You mainly get coins in these, but you can't win them all, can you? So, you may be thinking, people, Dobsy, how much money did I spend to get all these products for Crown Zenith? Um, quite, the answer is, do not ask. <laughs> um, I did not pay above retail price. Um, I have used vouchers and I've used points and everything to get them cheaper. But still though, it was a lot of money to get them down the line either way. Because like I said, most expensive one you can get is 60 quid. That's how expensive it is for the UK one. There is a Japanese one, if I remember, I do have which I possibly will open up as well in this month. I haven't decided yet, because I am opening up all the stuff that come out in the United Kingdom, but the one in Japan, I do not know if I should keep a hold of that or open it with you guys. It depends on how well our pull weight's here. Because if our pull weight's absolutely amazing and godly, I might as well keep it sealed, just saying I have the original Crown Xena booster set, which would be lovely to do to be honest. And like I said, the UK ones will probably be a lot more cheaper for the time being, instead of me trying to fly back to Japan and paying silly money to get that booster box again. Because if you guys want to know, it's not, you guys will already seen the vlogs and everything. But remember people, I paid over 20,000 yen to get that booster box, possibly just a little under than that. So that's over 100, or way over 100 pound. So yeah, it is silly, silly, silly money. So partially, you only get 10 booster packs, but you do guarantee getting yourself a holographic in every single pack, which is worth it. But yeah. But either way, you do get yourself some lovely stickers, as you guys can see. They are quite nice and cool and cute. They're quite nice. I wanna put them up there with the rest of my stuff up there for the collection. And let's go ahead and make the artwork. Uh, as you guys know, you get yourself 10 booster packs here. So we got a big pile today, big pile. Well, let's have a looky. So this one goes here, then this one goes right over here, and then uh, this one goes right over here, which is Q. We'll put that there, put that there. Okay, it's looking promising now. Uh, that one's in the middle with Leon. Then she's here, and then he's there. Look at that artwork. Lovely jubbly. Definitely gonna go ahead and put them in another picture frame and put it in my picture frame collection which I love I always keep them to the side but anyhow 10 packs can we get anything absolutely insane let's do it people let's freaking do it here's your code and it's gone one two three four let's have a look can we get hits out of the mini tins now People have been saying yes and no to the mini tins. Agron, no link, rock. Okay, so pretty much people have opened up some tins and got also artwork cards, and then people opened up other tins and got absolutely nothing. So it's a 50 50 chance if you're gonna get anything good. That's another flipping Yu Gi Oh sleeve. Don't know why that's in here. There we go. So, yeah. It is a 50-50 chance what you can get out of here. You can probably get one bad pack and then one good pack, but you can get absolutely nothing, or you can get something godly. It literally is a risk to take when it comes to the mini tins because they're mainly just fillers as well. They'll be like the backlog of stuff that they had spare and they just shove it in there, like they always do. Sunken, coughing. Oh, we get those a Magmortar cameo. One I actually pulled off camera, but it's nice to pull it on camera. That is cute. And I got the whole thing. We got the whole layer of it. So yeah, we got a hit there. A big hit. Oh, another Yu-Gi-Oh sleeve. What the hell's going on? There we go. So out of the first tin, we actually got one big hit and uh, one dud. So very happy. Next two packs from the for the second tin. 
code for you. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Darkness Energy, Rare Candy, Salanzel, Catcher, Ponyard, Seal, Rockruff, Aeron, Riolu, a Reversal Salandit, and an Executor. There's the standard reverse. Next pack, what can we get? There once was a ship that put to sea, the name of the ship was the boy of tea. The wind blows up a line of barbell, the wind blows up a line of wind. Soon be the watermen come to bring the sugar and tea of Oh my god, we're gonna get something good. Oh please give me something really nice, I really like to scream and shout. I will laugh! Ah, oh, I thought I was going to be something absolutely insane, but it's a charge of ingredients. I don't understand how that works. <laughs> oh, but whatever. We get ourselves a radiant charge of That's quite cool. <laughs> don't understand why on earth I started singing um, the Wallerman Come Lily song, the Shipman song. I have no idea. It just popped in my head and I just started singing it. Why the hell not? <laughs> oh, God. Dobsy, you're losing your mind again. Yes, I am. <laughs> Here is your code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four, let's have a look. Psychic Energy, Ball, Duo, Bishop, uh, Rooks and Special, Mime, Sunken, Coughing, Oddish, Salandit. Oh, baby! Woo! Cameo! Secret Alternate Hour at Galician V-Star! What? What a pull! What a pull! Oh my god, what a ball! And a road on me! What? No freaking way, that is a beautiful card. Glacier V, another one in the snowy mountains. Look at that, that is so gorgeous. That's a beautiful card right there. OMFG! Ah! That is a great pull right there. A great pull. Oh, we're not even... We're halfway through now, people. Halfway through. This was an amazing box. An amazing... Amazing look, this. Really good, amazing look. Two, three, four. Whole MFG. Ah, oh, this is insane in the membrane. We get a... Oh, we, got, we got another alternate artwork cameo. What? Oh! Oh, that is so cool! Look at that cameo card. Thievel looking like a bandit. That is so cool. And we write a, a, a Rahin. Rahan. A Rahan um, sign card. Oh my god. We're just getting pulls after pulls. What? My, my luck is coming back, people. My luck is back again. Oh, MFG, this is getting looking good. Whoo, whoo, baby. Only one reverse though as well, which is really, really good. Oh. Let's have a look. Fat Lightning Energy, Karaka Rock, Rock, Soul Rock, Lunatone, Lavesta, Oddish, Seal, Potion, Aeron, a Reverse Royal Lincoln Rock, Reverse Royal Rare. Oh, and Azura V! Finally, we get Azura V! About time we got that card. And that's reverse for rare. At least we get reverse for rares, not standard rares. So that's I mean, not standard reverses. So that's good. Three packs left. This has definitely been an amazing pack opening today, people. And a very amazing pack opening. Unless the Leaf Energy Carrier. Giraffe Rig, Scallop, Hidiaptile, Wulu, Shinx, Pancham, Execute, Execute, and Executor! That's a weird omen. Two packs left! What can we get out of the final two packs in today's episode? Here's your code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four, let's have a look! Darkness Energy, Graveler. Duo, Matang, Cuffish, Punyard, Seal, Rockruff, Aeron, another Magmortar cameo card, okay, and a Pangoro, I don't mind getting a double, 
Well, this is my triple pull now. That's my third one, but I'll take it. Final pack of Destiny. What can we pull? Can we end off with a big hole, people? Can we end off with a big hollow? One, two, three, four. Let's have a look. Water energy, death squat, hammer, time, shaman, crawfish, search, scyther, riolu, young goose, a reverse for a poniard, and a tangro. There we go. So out of all of it, our 10 booster packs, we got ourselves three standard reverse foils and literally two reverse foil reds, and then just pure gravy. That is nice. <laughs> OMFG people, wow, I can't believe it. Just three reverses, really good. Two reverse for a rares, very, very good. This is freaking insane, people. Because how many standard hollows did we get? We only got two standard hollows. Quite a lot of cameo cards. Two V cards and one radiant. That is Flipping cool. So here's the hollows of today. Agron. Rahi, um, Rehan. Rotom V. Zora V. Charge of a Gradient. Two Magmortars. A Thievel. And our Glaceon V-Star alternate artwork cameo. O-M-F-G. That's amazing, people. That's amazing. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers, people. If you guys could that, get that done, I'd absolutely appreciate that. With that being said, the people I'm still going to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh, MFG! This is going to be amazing! What a freaking pull! Next episode is going to be even more insane. I can feel it in my fingers and I can feel it in my toes. I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a couple of the volumes up, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now.